Good morning, Falcons. I'm Aiden Calloway. And I'm Brooke Vincent, and this is the Falcon Report. Tomorrow is your last day to turn in your guest pass to Mr. Mayor. You and your date must have your student IDs with you to get into the dance. Still need a ticket? Visit Bookkeeping to get yours. Concessions will be open. Stop by to satisfy your midnight cravings. The first 200 people to buy tickets get free popcorn, and the first 500 people to show up get a free glow-in-the-dark bracelet. Unsure what to wear for Spirit Week? We got you covered. There will be no GSA club meeting today. Today is National School Resource Officer Appreciation Day. We want to say thank you to our SRO and our three school security staff for helping to make our campus a safe environment. Thank you, Officer Field, Coach Powers, Coach Miracle, and Coach Gonzalez for all you do. Catherine Cooper, Karen Salgado, and Jenny Arenas received invitations last week to compete in Skills USA Baking and Pastry Arts State Competition in March. Celesta Martinez was named as an alternate in Baking and Pastry Arts, and John Sereno was named alternate in Culinary Arts. Congrats to our competitors. Congratulations to the following students who have been taking their HOSA State Competition tests all week. Scores from these tests will determine our competitors for the State Conference in March. Today is a Red Cross blood drive in the small area gym. If you are a donor, you will receive a call slip during either first or third your appointment time. Please come 10 minutes before your appointment. If you are on the wait list and someone does not keep their appointment, you may receive a call to come down. NHS, thank you for your tremendous response. If you see someone who has given blood today, give them a gentle high five. They are heroes. Here's another Falcon favorite class you may be interested in at Hanford. Sports medicine isn't just a class where you sit down at at a desk the entire time. In sports medicine, uh, kids learn about the body, uh, movements, exercises. Uh, you also get to learn about injuries and how those injuries affect the body, what tissues are injured. Um. Students get to have fun and get a hands-on learning experience throughout the class. It's definitely a very hands-on class. There's a lot of taping and stuff, but you learn a lot from it. Not only do students get a hands-on learning experience in the classroom, they have opportunities for school. What types of opportunities are there for sports med students? So there are a lot of volunteering uh, opportunities where people can observe sporting events, help out with sporting events, especially wrestling. Mm -hmm. That's one of the big ones where you get to help out with anybody that gets injured or has blood, clean them, um, get them ready to go, return to the match, get back out there. Uh, you can also volunteer for other sporting events, basketball, football, uh, anything like that, just to get involved with sports and kind of observe a athletic trainer at work or a sports medicine professional at work. Why should other students here at Hanford take this course? Uh, I would suggest you guys to take this class because if you guys want a learning experience, it's just super good to be in that environment and that class is just, uh, I can't explain it, it's just a good environment. Activities meeting today are Buddy Club in 1534, 1532, and 1537. French Club in 2203. JROTC Club in 704. Model UN in 2511. And Therapy Dog Thursday after school around campus. Activities meeting Friday are Chemistry Club in 2606. Gamers Club in 1606. Podcast and Video Production Club in 1332. FCA in 1607 for lunch and 2604 for second lunch. And Recycling Club in 1007. That's all for today. I'm Aiden Calloway. And I'm Brooke Vincent, and this has been the Falcon Report. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.